Oh shoot, it's burning, it's burning. I have to flip it around. I have to lower it. It's burning, it's, ah! Uh. Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are working on our second recipe from the unofficial Sims cookbook. Today's recipe is going to be not as fun as gummy bear pancakes. Okay. Oh God, oh God, why? I w this was going so well. <clears throat> French toast. The little caption says, French toast is a staple breakfast if you have a sweet tooth. And this recipe will not disappoint. Even though the name says French, you don't need to take a trip to Champs de Sims to create this delicious meal. You can make it in the comfort of your own home. Well, unofficial Sims cookbook, we will see about that because I am still at a level one cooking skill. Step number one says preheat the oven to 170 degrees Fahrenheit and place a metal cooling rack on a baking sheet. Place a metal cooling rack in a baking sheet. On a baking sheet. A cooling rack on a baking sheet in oven to, in oven to warm. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use to keep it warm. I got it now. Okay, so fun fact about me, I don't have too many dishes and stuff in my house. I cook so little that I have very, very little dishes to work with and utensils to work with. So if I don't have anything ever in the series, I'm just gonna improvise. It's worked for me this far and I still haven't starved to death. Whisk together milk. How much milk? Half a cup of milk. Boom. Two large eggs. Thank you, mom and dad. They have chickens. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh. As you can see, I just bought all these things. I normally don't have this stuff. <laughs> this is a luxury. Boom, one teaspoon. Perfect. And then it says to whisk together. I don't, do I have a whisk? Ah, I found a whisk. I found a whisk. I have a whisk. I'm mixing it very well. Is this it? Whisk together. Okay, I mean, trust, trust in the process, I guess. Scoot that over. It says set aside. It's aside. Dip two slices of bread into egg mixture, making sure both sides are evenly coated. Place in prepared skillet and cook two to three minutes until golden brown. Then step four, flip bread and cook another two to three minutes until golden brown on other side. Transfer to prepared baking sheet and keep warm. Done, easy. We'll see what happens. Well, somehow I completely missed it. You missed me, I completely for missed filming. Somehow I, it wasn't filming or something, but I followed the directions. I stuck the bread in there. Got it all soaked and threw it on here. But the next one, I promise you the next one you will see me do. It says to cook for two to three minutes. I didn't ask Alexa to set a timer, but that's fine. The next one I will. This right now, I'm just YOLOing. Feeling it out, we're vibing. I feel like this is a good time to let you know that my good friend, Ryan, came over for dinner this night and he didn't want to be on camera. I get it. So, if you hear someone talking who's not me, we're just gonna pretend it's God, okay? Okay, I think it's ready, let's see. Okay, that's not golden brown. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around because it said it should be golden brown. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, that's a lot better, I think. It's not golden, it's still yellow, but you know what, it's golden. It's golden, I'm gonna take it at face value, it is golden. Alexa, set another timer for three minutes. You know, waiting for it to cook on the other side is low-key the boringest part. Ooh, it looks a little burned on this side. Maybe three minutes is a little too much. It's okay, the next one. Okay, it's set to put it on this to keep warm. Um, don't do as I do, I feel like I, every time I touch this, I feel like I'm gonna burn myself. Okay, so it just says to keep it warm on there. Stay warm. Now on to the next. 
Now just to double check, just to be safe, I always spray, I mean this is my thing, it does, the recipe book doesn't say to. I'm gonna spray with Pam anyways, just to be safe. Then it says, just to repeat this step, this process, it says for eight pieces of bread. I don't know if that's a lot, it seems like a lot. And you know what, this is, this is the juicy content you missed last time. The literally juicy look at it, it's like. <laughs> Earlier it wasn't sizzling and I was like, I wonder what's taking, why it's not sizzling. Now it's sizzling. When I was growing up, my mom never made French toast like this. She, when it came to like French toast, it was like, go to the freezer, get French toast out of the freezer, heat it up in the oven and there, boom, it's served. So this feels so weird. This feels like rich, like rich food. Oh, that's nice. Do you think it looks burned? Just a smidge. Two minutes is not enough. Oh, that looks so good. Yes. And I take it. Put in the other one. Boom, two down. It says eight. We're going with two more. Now we're gonna try two at a time. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Oh wait, spray with Pam. We don't want to stick in and making my life harder. You know, it says the recipe says eight, but like look at that, we're almost out of like egg yolk and stuff. So I don't know if that's an accurate statement. Ooh, that's hot. We're gonna try for two, let's see what happens. Oh shoot, it's burning, it's burning. I have to flip it around. I have to lower it. It's burning, it's, ah! Uh! Oh no, I shouldn't use my fingers, I'm using my fingers. Perfect, mm -hmm. good, mm, amazing. You know what, not awful. Since, I don't know, and Alexa decided to take a break. Okay, that's not bad, everything's ready. A few more seconds. Huh? That one not even been on the pan? No, it, I just flipped it around. Oh no, that looked good. That looked good, okay. Boom, so we're gonna take these and serve them up now. Okay, and now I'm just chopping it up, making it look really pretty for the plate. And actually, funny story about the fruit that I used, I, <laughs> completely forgot to take the fruit out of the freezer because I didn't buy fresh fruit I'm being honest I just bought frozen fruit and I completely forgot to take it out of the freezer so I I really quickly defrosted to, to the best of my ability and it was actually still kind of frozen which made it taste a little good and then I cleaned off the plate, added some powdered sugar, and it was time to try out the French toast. Taste test. And remember, I grew up on French toast on the belief that French toast comes out of the freezer. So. It tastes like bread. <laughs> it tastes like bread. With syrup. I <laughs> had no flavor. Um, I would give this, you know, would I make this again? Maybe. But I would add more flavor. So, I would say four out of five plum bobs. That's mine, four to five, plum boss. I would make this again for sure, but I'd have to make some changes. <laughs> That's another recipe done. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all of those fun YouTube things. And I will see all of you next time. Hopefully next week. Next week we have fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. <sighs> I hate bananas. Bye everybody. <laughs>